Scott Van Pelt Show. Hello, America. This is Ernie Collins from Squid Village. When I think of Scott Van Pelt, I need to do me some hollering. Woo! Better turn up your radio box. A ton of stories like these out there, but when you get specific breakdowns of where all the money went, you go, wow. My man Ed Curry who uh, has made, through his nine-year career in the NBA, $57 million, according to Ryan Rosillo. That's, uh, that's the number, right? Yeah, and with this year, so he's about 11 to 12. He'll be right around $70 million for his career after this final season. You know how much money well, he's final got? final season of the books. He'll sign with somebody else next year. You know how much money he's got right now? Not that much. None. Uh, let me run through some of the specifics here, uh, which, which is just remarkable. Um, 17000 a month on rent, $30,000 on household expenses, about 1000 a month on cable. Parents, sisters, father-in-law, 16000 a month. Relatives have driven away with about a dozen different cars that he's purchased. A lawyer representing a... Uh, some, who's the, the lawyer's tr- representing All-Star Capital, who lent... He, they, imagine this, you're making $57 million. Curry got a $570,000 personal loan in Vegas. You know what the interest is on that? This is called loan sharking. 85%. It's legal in Vegas. Says the, uh, says the lawyer for All-Star, Mr. Curry appears to be a very, very generous man. He appears to have taken it upon himself to support every person named Curry on the East Coast. So All-Star has seized uh, three of Curry's cars a pair of 2009 Land Rovers, because really, I mean, one is just so gauche. You need well, to have, if you don't have a white one to go with a black one. Clearly, hello, we need to have the yin to the yang. He also had a Phantom convertible. Uh, and there's, there's more to this. My, I think my favorite is the $6,000 a month personal chef, who, if I could quote my main man, Timmy Thompson, from back in the day, apparently was making Eddie cakes and bakes, because... Curry is Curry <laughs> appears to enjoy the cakes and bakes. Cakes and bakes refers to any treat, and Eddie was never the thinnest of men. So he doesn't have a lot of cash, but the point is, at one point, he had a lot of cash because he's made $57 million and now most of it's gone. Yeah, and he hasn't played a lot the last couple of years. Seven games last year, three games the year before that. He's had some personal problems, uh, yep. some personal tragedy as well. But Understood. The guy has made a ton of money. And, you know, I blame him, but I also blame the family. Because too many times in these stories you read about every single person that's related to him having a house, having cars. And I don't understand how someone that can care about a family member can feel like, well, as long as I get mine, like Flip Murray, yep. and, uh, you know, I don't care about the end game. Like, you'll actually hear stories about the other person is okay financially that's been helped out by Curry. Right, because Curry, they got put on scholarship. Right. Like, I have a house that's paid for, my cars are paid for, poor Eddie. And it's like, dude, you're part of the problem. So, you know, Eddie's to blame. He's a grown man. He's got to take care of his stuff. But there's too many family members that, that are part of the decline. But the point of the matter here is is that lots of money is made by lots of different people. Yep. And we have a new game. And it is called... Who Made More Skrilla? That's right. <laughs> that is the Duke, the voice of the Duke. The game is called Who Made More Skrilla? Scott Van Pelt Show, Ryan Rossillo on ESPN Radio. Scott and I will have a chance to answer questions posed by Phil. Two players, they'll give us the era, and we have to guess... Who Made More Skrilla? And if you don't have your Urban Dictionary handle handy, uh, that just means more money. Who made more money? Yep. Phil, begin. The first pair, Nick Van Exel, who played from 94 to 06 mm-hmm. with the Lakers, Nuggets, Mavs, Warriors, Blazers, and Spurs, mm-hmm. or Steve Smith, who played from 92 to 05 with the Heat, Hawks, Blazers, Spurs, Hornets, and Bobcats. I ask you, who made more Skrilla? May I begin, Ryan? Yes. My my sense is that Smith made more early. Van Exel probably hit it big late. I'm going to guess Nick Van Exel. Nick got paid. I know he got Steve broken Smith off. Didn't didn't wasn't poor. I'm going to guess Van Exel as well. The correct answer is Nick Van Exel. He made seventy four point four seventy four point four million over that span. Steve Smith. Made sixty three point eight. That was close. That was a tough one. That was closer than I thought it would be because I thought I just thought era wise. Okay, so we're both one for one. Go Very again. Good. Number two. Yep. Terry Cummings, who played from eighty five to oh one for the Bucks, Spurs, Sixers, and Warriors, or Terry Porter, who played from eighty six to oh two for the Blazers, T Wolves, Heat, and Spurs. I ask you, who made more Skrilla? See, this is a good one because Cummings was probably a better player, but the era, the, the money wasn't right. I'm going to have to guess it was Porter. Cummings was a good player, man. Really good. 
Barkley also had a great quote about Cummings. Um, you look that one up, kids. <laughs> I'm going to say Cummings. The correct answer is Terry Porter. Ah, yes. Who made $24.6 million over that span. Cummings made 21.9. Jeez, these are tough. These are tough. This is what we wanted. All MC right. Nibbles, Rob, uh, on the... Uh, on the research end, all right, so I'm 2-0, and, uh, and you're 1-1. One and one. Final one, Phil. The final one. Mm-hmm. Kurt Rambis, from 82 to 95, played for the Lakers, Hornets, Suns, and Kings. Right. Or Wang Zhiji, <laughs> who played from 02 to 05, the Mavs, Clippers, and Heat. I ask you, who made more Skrilla? See, this has to be a trick question because Wang Zhuzhu is a disaster, but I'm guessing him on general principle. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Wang made a little bit of money. But what were Rambus's years again? 82 to 95. I bet it's Wang. I'm going to go Wang. The correct answer is Wang. (laughs) He made $5.7 million in those... Three years he played, Rambus, over the 13 years he played, made $5.1 million. That's a crime against humanity that a guy that was part of championship teams made less than Wang. I like when Wang told everybody collected, hey, my name, my nickname's Dodger, yo. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, they were like, what? He goes, yeah, this Wang stuff? No, Dodger. Dodger. Well, my man Dodger made some cash. Your nickname's going to be Export in other seasons. Join us again next week for another episode of Who Made More Skrilla? Imagine that, though. Wang made 5.7, Eddie's made 57, and he's got none. And his personal chef is, meanwhile, is living high on the hog, and cakes and bakes made my man big. I enjoyed that a lot. Those were tough for the – that's that's what you want. You want them to be tough. Hope people enjoy that. I just like Duke saying anything. Can we hear Duke one more time? Duke, what's the question the kids like to ask? Who made more Skrilla? From the worldwide leader in sports.